if you like the chicken, don't punish the chef and your own belly, uh, but give a call to head office. I think that uh, Nando's could do with a bit of pressure, some questions. Prominent media personality Gareth Cliff has been embroiled in a controversy following an interview he conducted last week. Joining me to discuss the details of this is Gabriel Krauser of the Institute of Race Relations. Gabriel, welcome back to the CRA channel. Could you tell our viewers what exactly happened during this interview and what was the fallout? It's an interesting one. Uh, I think most people would have watched the one minute clip. Uh, the full episode is also interesting. Uh, Gareth Cliff's guests were John Stienazen, leader of the DA, and Muzuli Rakivane, uh, who is part of the 1SA movement. Uh, the conversation was going along. People were talking about service delivery, uh, major issues for the upcoming local government elections. And then it turned to the DA posters in Phoenix. It turned to a conversation about race. And Rakivane wanted to interject uh, to Gareth Cliff's line. Uh, and he then interjected against her interjection and uh, referred to IRR polling, which shows that race relations are much better than one would assume if one only consulted the sort of headlines of daily newspapers, which seem to declare the Rainbow Nation dead um, every news cycle. The uh, upshot was two complaints against Cliff. The one complaint was that he was rude uh, because he was interrupting his guest and so was frustrating free speech. On this basis, Nando's, a major sponsor, withdrew its financial support. The second allegation coming from Mudzuli herself was that this was racist. Uh, she said that her daily lived experience is of racism uh, every day. Um, and uh, questioning this, doubting this, speaking over this, saying that this is not uh, relevant to public policy, uh, she deemed to be racist. Enjoying this analysis? Click here to sign up for our 30-day free trial for more content from the CIA. So Gabriel, many people, when this uh, went viral on, on social media, were quite incredulous about the IRR findings um, and were questioning some of these. Uh, could you first of all tell us what are some of the results of the polling that the IRR has done? And what does it reveal about people's attitudes towards race relations more broadly? Yeah, so in our 2020 field survey, for example, we asked people, have you experienced any form of racism in the last five years? 80% of respondents said no, 80% of black respondents said no. No personal experience of racism in the last five years. Uh, that's not something that one's used to hearing on the news, on TV, in radio, in print, uh, but that's what we found to our surprise. And in, in a lot of ways to our delight. Um, we, you, you keep going down the line. We ask people, should fighting racism be a top priority for government? One of the two top priorities, 3% said yes. Uh, the rest said no. Unemployment is consistently being the top priority, followed by service delivery, corruption, better education, and so forth. Uh, we ask people questions about uh, BEE, and we find that the overwhelming majority would prefer, prefer a voucher-based tax-funded system to BEE in its current instantiation. 80% prefer merit-based uh, job appointments, uh, and those numbers climb higher if you look at specifically teachers and national sports teams, which is interesting because that's more in the symbolic field. Um, what do we infer from this? Okay, so partly there's this good news, this reason for hope that most South Africans share common sense, want to work together and go forward. On the other hand, to feel the surprise, one really has to contrast it with what gets um, discussed in uh, mainstream media, to use a term that I'm uncomfortable with, but I can't think of a better one. Um, and, and in a way, to, to take it a step further, to think about possibly a, a basic distinction between private values and public norms. It seems in some ways that there are two South Africas. There's a connected South Africa, connected to parliament, the union buildings, connected to the airwaves, the main producer suites and channels, um, which has a definition of racism, which has an eye for racism, which finds it everywhere and finds it to be the root cause of all of our problems. Then there is a disconnected South Africa, a South Africa that meets around the dinner table and worries maybe about where the next meal is coming from, and that has a radically different set of views. 
Uh, now, part of what's interesting is that I think a lot of people actually phase through these two South Africas. They publicly uh, endorse one set of views and then privately speak to another. Um, in terms of the local government election, in terms of this uh, 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 fiasco with Gareth Cliff, I see a real clash between those private values and the, and the, and the good news on their basis that, that uh, racism is not nearly the problem that it's made out to be. And the public norm, according to which you cannot ever doubt an allegation of racism, uh, and you must consider it to be uh, the foremost reason that South Africa is performing so poorly. So, Gabriel, what do you make of the withdrawal of the sponsorship by Nando's? Because uh, it seems that there's a, quite a limp-wristed response often to public pressure, whether that's justified or not. Uh, do you think that uh, Nando's has, has a leg to stand on here? I think that brand expert Solly Moeng uh, put it succinctly when he said Nando's made a business decision. Um, I respect their freedom to associate. Uh, if they think they're going to sell more chickens this way than the alternative, uh, they've got to think about their shareholders. Uh, interestingly enough, Gareth Cliff has called on people not to boycott Nando's. Uh, I think he is skeptical of the potential, we cancel you, so you cancel us, uh, devolution into... Uh, into a market that's not really about serving people's interests and is about uh, symbolizing your political affiliations. Uh, my way of putting this is, uh, if you like the chicken, don't punish the chef and your own belly, uh, but give a call to head office. I think that uh, Nando's could do with a bit of pressure, some questions, and from my very personal perspective, I wouldn't mind if they threw some bucks our way uh, to sponsor the next... Uh, reasons for hope survey uh if it finds once again that most south africans uh espouse non-racial values they'll have something proudly to put out into the public sphere it's what we found before again and again so i think it'd be a good bet yeah well krauser thank you very much for joining me on the cra channel let's hand over to you our viewers what do you make of nando's decision to drop its sponsorship of gareth cliff's show let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and also check out the link in the description to the IRR report, which showcases the results that we discussed today. My name is David Ansara. This is the CRA. Until next time, take care.